it had long since come to my attention that people of accomplishment rarely sat back and let things happen to them. They went out and happened to things. He who loves practice without theory is like the sailor who boards ship without a rudder and compass that never knows where he may cast. Experience is a truer guide than the words of others. Live your life as your heart tells you to. Don't stand still listening to other people's opinions about your own life. It's not them who is living it. Whatever you do in life, if you want to be creative and intelligent and develop your brain, you must do everything with the awareness that everything, in some way, connects to everything else. Once you have tasted flight, you will forever walk the earth with your eyes turned skyward, for there you have been, and there you will always long to return. I have been impressed with the urgency of doing. Knowing is not enough, we must apply. Being willing is not enough, we must take action and start doing. Nothing can be loved or hated unless it is first understood. One has no right to love or hate anything if one has not acquired a thorough knowledge of its nature. Great love springs from great knowledge of the beloved object, and if you know it but little, you will be able to love it only a little or not at all. One can have no smaller or greater mastery than mastery of oneself. I love those who can smile in trouble, who can gather strength from distress and grow brave by reflection. Tis the business of little minds to shrink, but they whose heart is firm and whose conscience approves their conduct will pursue their principles unto death. Iron rusts from disuse, water loses its purity from stagnation. Even so does inaction sap the vigor of the mind. Study the science of art. Study the art of science. Develop your senses, especially learn how to see. Realize that everything connects to everything else. A beautiful body perishes, but a work of art never dies. Make art in your life and leave a mark. The painter has the universe in his mind and hands. Where the spirit does not work with the hand, there is no art. Painting is poetry that is seen rather than felt, and poetry is painting that is felt rather than seen. Learning is the only thing the mind never exhausts. The noblest pleasure of life is the joy of understanding. Simplicity is the ultimate sophistication. There are three classes of people, those who see, those who see when they are shown, those who do not see. Men of lofty genius, when they are doing the least work, are most active. Their true work lies in thinking. Intellectual passion drives out sensuality. Time abides long enough for those who make use of it. Knowledge of the past and of the places of the earth is the ornament and food of the mind of man. Poor is the pupil who does not surpass his master. Study without desire spoils the memory, and it retains nothing that it takes in. Every now and then go away, have a little relaxation, but when you come back to your work, your judgment will be surer. Go some distance away because then the work appears smaller and more of it can be taken in at a glance and a lack of harmony and proportion is more readily seen. Make your work to be in keeping with your purpose. All our knowledge has its origin in our perceptions. Always remember, if you can be anything in life, be a Stoic. Support with a like and subscribe for more Stoic empowerment.